earlier today, I was in the gym bench pressing and then once I finished all of my sets, I was ready to move on to the next exercise. This one guy just comes up to me because obviously I'm unracking, unracking the plates as you would. And this guy comes up to me, he's like, no, nah, no, nah, just leave on the plates. I'm going to use the bench real quick. And then, you know that feeling when someone uses your, not your one rep max, but I'd say a decent weight that you can, you, that you're struggling to do as their warm up set. So that will either demoralize you or it will either, it will either piss you off. And for me, it pissed me off. So I just, I just looked at this guy just dominating the weight that I was like kind of struggling to do. And like I said, it pissed me off. And a lot of people I know, at that moment in time, they would have just walked out the gym because they, I don't know why, but some people would have literally just walked out the gym. Now, obviously, when I said that, it pissed me off. I didn't actually go on ego lift after the guy finished, after the guy finished doing his workout, or I didn't go on ego lift for the rest of the, the workout that I was doing. All it meant to me was that it, it humbled me. That's the word that I want to use. It humbled me and it showed me that I'm not perfect or I'm not as good as I really think I am. So therefore... There's a lot of room for improvement and room for work because it showed me what's actually possible. So if, for example, you're the best person or you're the strongest person in your gym, the only person you're really competing yourself or really competing against is yourself. And what you hear most people saying is, oh, don't compare yourself to others or don't just, just compare yourself to yourself. And that's the most, personally, that advice never works with me because obviously, yeah, you should be measuring your progress. However, if you haven't got other people holding you accountable on for example, your progress. That's why I believe competition is one of the most important things, especially when you're trying to progress. Because, for example, say you have a group of friends, right? And you're all competing on who can push or who can lift the heaviest weight. If you're there by yourself, you haven't really got that environment. And obviously, yeah, you can, you can, how can I say? You can get into your own thoughts and push yourself. However, if you see your friend lifting heavier than you, that's gonna piss you off. So then it's gonna push you to lift even heavier as well. Now, I'm not saying go and ego lift, obviously everything within your limits. However, you can understand the difference between when there's people around you and pushing you to do something or when you're by yourself and you should only compare yourself to yourself. And this applies with anything in life. So for example, let's use school as an example. You're doing a science test and then, I don't know, some other person, you know you revised for like five hours nonstop every single day for the, for the science test. And there's this other guy across the room and he just revised for like 30 minutes before the actual exam and he gets like double your score. That shouldn't, that shouldn't make you feel bad about yourself because obviously you tried and you put in as much work as you possibly did. However, it should show you what is possible and you should actually go and ask the other guy, for example, how comes that, or you should actually go and learn from the other person. So for example, the guy I was benching or he was benching my, my weight today, I'll literally just go up to him and I'll be like, like, yo, how'd you get so strong? Because clearly you saw I was struggling on that weight and you were just repping out as if it was nothing. And obviously they'll give you the general advice of stay consistent, do this, do that. But then you can ask them to be more specific and give you more specific advice. So I hope you learned something from this video, which is don't be discouraged or not driven or demotivated by when you see someone better than you and they make your progress as if, they make your progress look as if you haven't even made any progress at all because they're that far ahead of you. Don't be discouraged by that learn from that and actually harness that that feeling and that emotion to actually motivate yourself and if it does piss you off good because at least you have something to drive you and push you even closer to your goals that you're trying to achieve this also means don't have that victim mindset of where you're saying this guy's better than me so what's the point of even trying that's the victim mindset what you should be thinking is this guy's better than me how do i get to his level or even better